the man and woman that wander out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. And look, a lot of dead people walking. Give me that the Revelation. Revelation chapter 11 verse 8. A lot of dead people walking. Because why? Them not have the spirit of the Lord upon them. So they're dead walking around, man. Look at the zombies. Right? Dead people walking around, man. Any live people out here? They are dead. Look at them. Dead man, what? You're alive. Come and talk to you. Come, are you alive? Right. We are looking for your life, brother, man. We find one. Because he's mindful of the word I learned. Where are you from, sir? Where your background? Yeah? You're born here. Ask you a question. So, what that make you be? British, right? So, if you're born now here, where is? If you was born in the here, what would you be? A year man? You'd be a year man? Alright. Sir, what me and try to be sure, sir? We all have a nationality, right? And basically, them say yes, it's just a landmass. So we can't call ourselves a landmass. We have to call ourselves basically what the Lord call us, right? So, as you say, you're born here, I'm going to ask you a question. Where your, food, where your background come from? Uganda. Jamaica. Okay, sir. I am from the capital land as well, sir. Because that's where I was born. So, because I was born there, not making me be a Jamaican, I was brought there. So, where was I coming from, sir? You have any idea? Right. So, sir, we are going to show you through the book that this is our history book, sir. And how we're going to show you, we're going to do it through prophecy. Right? Because you heard of Moses, sir. So, Give me the book of Deuteronomy, chapter the best, the best one, and start at one. Deuteronomy, chapter one, and verse one. These be the word which Moses spake unto all Israel. So Moses was speaking to all Israel. So do you know who is Israel, sir? Who are Israel, sir? Jacob. Right, Jacob is Israel because Jacob, twelve sons. And the 12 of them become the children of Israel. Very good. Right? So now we establish who the Lord taught, tell Moses to make this covenant with. We are going to establish here, sir, what happened to us in life. Oh, we know that we are the children of Israel, sir. No. Huh? No, we have a proof to you who are the children of Israel. Right? No, we just accomplish Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 says these are the children when the Lord tell the people that Moses to speak with all Israel right now jump to Deuteronomy 28 and start at um, 30 thy, thy sons and daughters shall sell given to another people this is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 32 thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. No, the Lord says, this is a curse. No, make him hear the curse first. Jump to 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, it says, it shall happen if we don't listen to what the heavenly Father said unto us. What's gonna happen? Read. To observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee yeah, we're gonna get to that sir but we want to establish okay now what is the commandment well the commandment is give me the book of um, Leviticus chapter 21 and start at um, 4 this is one of them. This is Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make boldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. 
So you understand that, sir? Chapter 1 and verse 20. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. There's no private interpretation in this Bible, sir. We're reading word for word. And I am not calling something what's not here. Alright, I'm not coming. Four and sixteen. Four and sixteen. Are you going to hold it? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, basically, that's why we know we're doing. This is the only way you can know what we know right now. If the spirit is not on you, you can't come and break down the Bible and read it like how we are reading. That was of that time, not for now. No, sir. The most important thing now is the intent of the nation. No, but when the scripture says, says it's what was then? It's not for now. It was then time, not for now. Read it. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 4 and verse 16. There is no end of all the people. Well, Lord said, there is no end of all the people. No, the, the, those people is not here no more. The Lord said, there is no end of all the people. Jesus, I come and look about me. I look about me to you. I look about me to you. Give me the book up. Give me the first chart. Give me the book up. First chart, chapter one. I look about me, my friend. I look about me. What was it you come about? What was it you come about? That you are born again in Jesus Christ's name, no. your blood and the Holy Spirit. No, he said, in the right, no new commandment and do. No, 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 no
we are in a profit. Neither I am a profit son. The last time I checked, my father used to work on building site. Right? I'm be a builder. So me are in a profit. Neither I am a profit son. Right? But what me I do, what me I do right now? Me don't know how me reach, I'm up a reach. Right? I am a reader. But I was a herdman and a gatherer of sycamore fruit. I am. Amos was a herdman and a gatherer of sycamore fruits. Amos' father was not prophet, and he was not prophet's son. Right? My father was not prophet, and I am not a prophet's son. But what I am doing, I am doing this for my Lord. Right? Because my heavenly father raised me up to do this. So me can't do nothing else, man. Me have to carry on the work what the Father gave unto me. Read on. And the Lord took me as I followed the flock. And right now the Lord took us. Because we hear him words. I will follow it. Right. If say my sheep hear my voice. Give me that, man. Yeah. Stay away there. What if we on that, man? Right. Give me that, not John 10 and 27. Read on. And the Lord said unto me, Go prophesy unto my people Israel. So you see that? I am no son of a prophet. I am no prophet. But the Lord gave us a charge. He said, Go prophesy unto my people Israel. That's why we out here bringing out the word of the Father, man. We don't out here because of the glorification of men. Sister, how you do it? You believe in the Father? What are you doing, King? All right, let's go on. Good, eh? Now therefore, hear thou the word of the Lord, thou sayest, prophesy not against Israel, and drop not thy word against the house of Isaac. So you see? But he must say, I come prophesy against the children of Israel, and he must come drop the word, right? Because what? He can't stay, and I come bring out the word, we have to bring out the word of the Father, man. Right? Right? Give me the problem. Right? You have something? Read it out. chapter 10 and verse 27. My sheep hear my voice. What the Lord said? My sheep hear my voice. And we are the Lord's sheep. We hear him voice. So we come. Him clean we up. Him sanctify us. So we come to clean up the messy one them out here to man. Because them full of pus. Them messy. So we come to tell them, say, ring out to the rock, man, and try out for yourself. And repent and come back to the Lord. Right? Read. And I know them, and they follow me. And the Lord said, what? I know them, and they follow me. So we, the children of Israel, when the Lord call, we take up him calling out here and follow him, man. Read on. And I give. Unto the, them eternal life. And the Lord give unto us eternal life. So me not in a dance hall. Me not in a party. Because eternal life don't end us up. Right. All where in the so, you walk in with 200 pounds and you come out broke. Not in the so but stress. And some long tongue woman with some long finger nail. And some poor tongue. And me never read my Bible. None of my four mother them bone a tongue. But they run here a bone tongue and a long out it. Like them a snake. Right? So we don't depend on the buffoon we do now. Read that. And these shall never perish. And the Lord said none of us shall perish. Because what? He might go look after us. So hard when the going get rough and tough. We are gonna survive. Because the Lord said we shall never perish, man. Because we are sheep and we are listening to what he said. Read. Neither shall any man pluck them out of, of my heart. And no guy can come here, so and no girl. She could have pretty like pretty can find no more pretty man. She better take her pretty prettiness and go on about her business. Because yo, she not fears with. You have the beautiful on the inside. Right? Because we don't look for outside look. Cause you can't look pretty on the outside and your rocks, right? Your hooks out, like all dry coconut, right? So yo, 
at the end of the day, man, you have to come and come with the spirit of the Heavenly Father, pure, clean, and ready to humble yourself and ready to learn. Because a lot of you learn too much. And you don't learn too much, you don't have much degree on your head. And all that degree on your head, no, 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 in your vein. No, 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 the meaning of vein. Right? So at the end of the day, man, you only just learn all kind of things you don't know to learn. What would that? What would that? That's it, yeah? Read it. Yeah, well, read that something. Read it, yeah. This is Amos chapter 7 and verse 7. Then he shewed me, and behold, the Lord stood upon a wall made by a plumb line. So you see, the Lord showed Amos a wall with a plumb line. And where the Lord and read? Wall made by a plumb line with a plumb line in his hand. And the Lord showed Amos a plumb line. Now if a builder was out here, a builder would have known what's a plumb line. It's straight, right? Plumb line, straight. Say so you no, know, it's a yam and a plumb. That means it's straight. So the Lord showed Amos a plumb line. So the plumb line represents the children of Israel. And the Lord having him and a plumb line. That simple means say what? Give me the book of. Give me the book of um. Second Ezra chapter seven and start at twenty. Read on. In the, oh. And the Lord said unto me, Amos, what seest thou? And I said, A plumb line. Then said the Lord, Behold, I will set a plumb line in the midst of my people Israel. You see that? The Lord said, I'm going to set a plumb line in the midst of his children of Israel. Israel. As a children of Israel, man, a plumb line, that simply means that we are feeling upon a straight. We can't bend. How this place a teach with? Bend, bend, bend. We have the straight man. We want straight man. Straight to man. No, no, bend one. Right? Because the lads give you a plumb line. And the plumb line is straight. So we straight, man. Read. Second Ezra, chapter 7 and verse 20. For there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of Yahweh. No found I got dead because of the despise, this straight line when the Lord gave unto us. We look on bed now. We look on bed down and gone sideways. People are bending over. The wrong bending of one man. What do you mean? That is set before them for the Yah for Yahweh. A given straight commandment. Lead commandment. Yahweh a given straight commandment. Bend commandment. For Yahweh a given straight commandment. Broken commandment. For Yahweh a given straight commandment. This are the plumb line. The Lord gave us straight commandment. So we have to make sure that we straight and I do the Lord work. You know we not do the Lord work. Obviously, listen man. Hard here campaign coming. Me say. And no found the life hard. But that go I like it nice. We know it rough. Too rough too. But what we do? Endure. Because the Lord said he that endure to the end. He will give you a nice run of high hand. Right? And we want my high hand. Because the child sister, excuse me. We want my run of high hand, man. Because I shall fix the people. But take we have on the straight line. And put in a pen and zigzag and curve. Right? Read on. For Yahweh had given straight commandments to such as came what they should do to live, even as they came. So you see, we get straight commandment what we should do to live. But man, I come here, come tell me about World War I, World War II. None of my World War, I feel my food and reward them. Where my fight over land. Right? We don't depend on that. We come here to keep the commandment of our father. When we keep the commandment of our father, we are going to get prosperity. Look how people are. They look like they're prosperity. Why our 
people them alone to string out, man. Who will eat for them? No little bit. Because what? Read our king. And what they should observe to avoid punishment. And truly not observing the Heavenly Father commandment. That's why we are getting punishment. We say look how people them. Them a walk, them down a brain. Them brain gone. Them borrow them brain. Them, hey, when they watch the show, when they get out, them take out them brain. And that never do with the children of Israel. Them take out them brain. And I took them and I give them all kind of information to them body. As you see, they reach party, they start walk with stick. Something all right. Come back to the land. Right. And then we have to stop get punishment, man. And we don't them. Look how they're beautiful. But they are poor themselves. Because they're not listening to what the Lord said. All of them want to. I feel. I feel. And God not the nail shop. Can put on some big long big at them. And them can't even be dumping. When they do these things. You see them with a big spoon. And mixed flour. Right? Because them can't put them on the thing. Because it's not going to fill up on the flour. When you get to the finger nail, you go in a nail shop and put the Q-Tex and them thing in the pan. The Lord said, what do you feel you use in the hand and be corny no man? Use your hand and turn in a fashion. Go cook some food for your children and for your husband. No, on this side. And left the restaurant. Right? Because the people who don't husband care have a phone in their pocket. Because you don't want a restaurant meal. I feel like say yo, no, him take me to the restaurant. Listen man, when you come off a buffoon or it, come off a chuck when they put in the pan. Because the chuck that got crushed now. That's right. Because we're there with righteousness. And we have put righteous judgment in our heart. Because the Lord said we out here. I am no prophet. I am no son of a prophet. My father used to live on building site. I make building. Right? I hope we reach here. I follow the flock. And when me follow the flock, the Lord said, Go teach me people. And when me get the calling, I couldn't turn away. I have to come and do the work of my father. Read that king. Second Ezra. Chapter 7 and verse 22. Nevertheless, they were not. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, where are you from, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come in, man. Come in. Come on, sir. Second Israel chapter 7 and verse 22. Nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him, but spake against him and imagined vain things. So you see, we people them do not. Sister, when you know so no ten as it? When you know so no ten as it? Are you, you're good with it, yeah? You see that? Hey, give me the book of Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 3. Right? Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 3. Right? And give me Jeremiah 7 and start at 30, 31. Jeremiah chapter 8 and verse 3. And death shall be chosen rather than life by all the residue of these, them that remain of this evil family. So the Lord said, death shall be chosen rather than life, but from all of the residue that remaining from this evil family. But just tell to my sister, say, sister, you know you're living in sin. Sister says she comfortably night. Right? So them choose death. Them choose death rather than life. Read. Which remain in all the places whither I have driven them. Which, re which remain in, in all the places where the Lord have driven us. I am driven us for a I heard, man. Right? Jump. I'm driven us for a I heard. Right? But what? On a comfortable. So at the end of the day, man, what would it?
is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of Yahweh, and the law that endure it forever. Now this is the book, the whole scripture, is the commandment of the heavenly father, Yahweh. Yahweh means he exists, right? So this is the whole book of the commandment of the heavenly father, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. And this commandment never stopped. The Lord said forever. So the hugly pastor them attack about the commandment that done away. They are crooks. They are thieves. They are liars. Right? Read. All they that keep it shall come to life. And we are keep the commandment of the Lord. And that's why we come to life. And that's why we attack the way we attack. But all of you people, we're not keeping the commandment of the Lord. For the dead. All of you are not keeping the commandment. For the dead man. Read. But such as living shall die. You see? Self-explanatory. All who will leave the commandment of the Lord when I go dead. Because I see dead man walking. Dead woman walking. Sister, you don't know anything I sin. Them not, come here, sister. We show you something. Right? Them not care to know what they're in a sin. Them just walk on in a sin. Sister, I see over there, so look. Come here. I can share some scripture with you. You feel the scripture? <laughs> Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 31 The prophets prophesy falsely and the priests bear rule by their means. So you see? The prophet prophesy falsely. So when you go in a Christian church and you hear the Christian pastor say, God so loved the world and God loved everybody. He's prophesying falsely. The Lord no loves everybody. And the Bible we are reading. If you do not believe, come and ask questions. We can break it down to you and make you see say, what we are saying. It's in the scripture. We're not saying it because of oh, we're making it up. It was written for our learning. That's right. And because it was written for our learning, we're gonna read it. Read on. And the priests bear rule by their means. Uh -huh. And my people love to have it so. Our people love to hear lies. They love to have lies. They walk on with lies. Because what? The Lord never say what the pastor them are say. The Lord never come and tell us, for God so loved the world. What world was he talking about? He's talking about the world of Israel. He's not talking about all nations. The Lord said all nations have nothing. Right? So you have to know who the Lord is talking to. What are you doing, sister? Where your background from? You look like you come from um, but the place of the near Haiti. Funer near where they put our people them, right? Read, read, read where? We tell this the worship now. This is Isaiah chapter thirty and verse ten, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets prophesy on not. That's the spirit. You just don't tell better to get the scripture, and the others are get it. Who say to the seers, see not, right? Because our people love to. Walk around in lies. Then they were not true. So they must say to the seers, the seers is the man of the Lord. See not. What them say? Prophes prophesy not unto us right thing. So that's why them fool the Christian church. Because them say, prophesy not unto us right things. And that's why them in there and them gone in the past Sunday. That's not the way of the Lord. Them say prophesy not unto us right things. What them say? Speak unto us smooth things. 
So they want smooth things, they want lies. That's what the children of Israel love, lies. But we don't love lies. We love the truth. Because the truth shall make you free. If you want life, why not Christian church? They will give you life. They will make you swing for life, walk for life, and they will heave you, push up down your belly, and fool you up and win. Lie and win. Right? Read. Prophesy deceit. What them say? Prophesy what? Prophesy deceit. Prophesy deceit. Right? These are what the Christian church doing to our people. So our people them lose them weight. And they walk around and feel like say, something not going for them. Well, nothing not going for them but one red tangle coming. We not got dead. Right? Because what? That's all what they're ready for the bury you know. Because at them do what? Deceive you know. And bring you down at the wrong corner. And then them take you know, life away from you. Know. Because the Lord said, man, Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 26. What are going roots? All is well? Yeah, man. Eh? Come and show you what bless. Come and show you what bless. You have to go. When you go home, read Revelation chapter 22, verse 14. It don't show you how you get blessed. Right? What are you doing, sister? Sister with the mask. What are you doing? Jeremiah chapter 5 and verse 26. Yo, big man. Well, man. For among my people are found wicked men. What the Lord said? For among my people are found wicked men. The Lord said, Among his people, you found wicked men, wicked women. Right? Because yo, Israel, Israelite, when them get a charge for the sub man, them overdo it. And them do it to perfection. So when them go for the wickedness, them overdo it. And them do it with skill, perfection, right? So the Lord said, among my people, you found wicked men. Read on. They lay wait as he that 